Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. I'm Dan Eakin. And welcome to the Geek Group, where today we are playing in the High Voltage Lab, and you guys are going to be ta finally building the, the precursor to Stomper here. Yes, we are. We're, we're, this is rough, raw prototype mojo. Yes, it is. But we're, uh, we're starting out with one cap. Yep. Now, these are the, the caps that we've had for years. Mm -hmm. um, it's 60 kilovolt cap. Yep, 3,200 joules. Okay, um, do we know the microfarad rating on it? Uh, We've I got don't it think written so. down. It's written down. Yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Um, we're going to start with using one cap, so we've got 3,200 joules, mm -hmm. and that's enough to do can crushing and and to proof of concept for core yeah. shrinking. We Basically, we're doing power supply and containment. Correct. Just just getting our feet under us in, at this level yes. of power. Um, now, for the people at home, engineering at 50,000 volts is a nightmare. <laughs> it's, it's just, this is where you go right into black magic and things just happen all on their own. Yes, we have our robes out there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got copies of the Necronomicon also. Okay, sides. okay, and we've, we've sacrificed a chicken. You know, Ethan yeah. took care of the chicken, so yeah. we're cool. Yes, that's all taken care And we're just going to start building a quarter crusher. That's right. All right, and you two are just hanging out doing this. I've got a whole herd of people, so I'm going to be popping in and out. Um, we're, we're doing the give camp thing, so we've got a ton of people here today. But uh, we'll, we'll just rock out and start doing this. Sounds good. So what's the basics? Well, we have a very large capacitor here. <laughs> yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a power supply and charge it up over time. And it'll take a while to charge something this large. And then we're going to rig up some form of switch to dump all that energy into a coil of wire. Now what, what are we thinking? Are we going to start simple with a mechanical switch before we get into string? That string? It may very oh, well be the... Um, the broker enhanced safety switch. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay, yes. Which I predates me by a bit, but oh, I, yeah, I want to see it, so we're going to do it. There is video of the very first day of doing that, when the, the day that the broker enhanced safety switch was invented. Yes. There, there is archive video of that back yes. at uh, the... Was the yeah. enhancement going up through the rafters and down again? Yeah, it did. It went, it went up, down. Yeah. Um, it, I don't know why it was called that, but the, <laughs> the idea... We'll, we'll put a clip in here and you'll get to see it. Um, but oh, yeah. Mark Broker and a kid, I can't remember the kid's name, I think his name was Chris, um, were tinkering in the Sigma-6 labs one night. And it's, it's back right around the same time you and I first met. Yes. The version one prototype for Thumper. Mm -hmm. It was one shelf of caps, it was 20 caps. And they, they just laced up a thing of shell, uh, caps. They had a string that went up and back, and you just pull the string, right. and it would pull it up. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it was two pieces of like 500 MCM or something like that. Did it work? It worked! Yeah, it worked fine. Um, we, we tried crushing cans with that, and okay. we, could, we could neck them a little bit, but we ne not like this. Nothing yeah. like what you'll do here. Mm -hmm. um, because this is a pulse cap. This is rated to deliver all that energy in one room. Whereas an electrolytic cap has a very long rise time. Sure. So this is really going to be, a, it's, it's going to be a flagship project for us. This, this will be every bit as big as Thumper or Gemini or, or mm -hmm. Jeff or any of them. So, and it's cool because now we're at the level where we're taking the next step on some of these things. Like mm -hmm. Thumper's at like eight or ten prototypes. Stay really? Outside. Oh yeah, that's, that's generations. Um, but Thumper was always designed to be the precursor to Stomper. This, yeah. Yeah, this this will be Stomper, and this is the baby version. When Stomper is done, it'll have eight of those. Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> we'll probably actually make three. Is, is that going to series. be excessive for cans? Or you're just going to be popping. Oh, we cans? won't use cans for that. That's for like crushing manholes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Manhole covers, <laughs> and and you know it's, it's where midgets come from. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. Most of the midgets in the United States actually come from Lawrence Stand by for, Stand by for <laughs> incoming hate mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going we're gonna to do the jump to Stomper through an intermediate prototype because now we're dealing with pulse caps and the rules right. are different. So you guys are going to build this, which doesn't have a name. So you guys get to name it. I have a couple we have, ideas. We have Thumper and the big one will be Stomper. So this needs a name. We'll come up um, with something. But this I already will came be up with something. Two caps. You didn't like we'll, it. We'll use two of these, and it'll be a test. We can use this for cans. We can use this for some vicious ring launching. You know, things like that. It will be just powerful enough to do quarters. Oh, I forgot so, to bring those platters. So there's you a, know the cartridge module drives where you had oh the yeah, five the big, big the washing the, machines. Yeah, that, yeah, well, that's what this box, this enclosure <laughs> was. I got a bunch of the platters, and they're that big around. I got a couple. Once of them you guys get the prototype working and we get it all sorted out. I'll dismantle it, 
and I'll wrap it in diamond plate, and we'll paint it up, and we'll do it all pretty. Okay. Oh, the, the sides are fine. You I mean, it's got a, it's got a door. The door on the end works. Well, you've got to push in far enough to unhook it. I'm touched. Brought a tear to me. I, 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 I've been saving this thing for ages for this, this very done, purpose. What I want is, does this roll? Yes. Okay. I want something that we can roll around, put a quarter in, and, and have a quarter crush. Okay. Because this is something we can move with a pickup truck and a hand cart. Mm -hmm. We can take on a location, we can do demos, and we can shrink quarters in a classroom. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going with this. It's, it's 10 kilojoules max energy. I can hear security and the principal running to the classroom <laughs> now when this thing goes off. Because you know this is going to be a little loud. It'll make, well, it won't though. Because all the noise happens inside the containment vessel, and that's going to be a big steel can up on top. Okay. So it, it'll, it'll make a tink. It'll make a noise, it'll do, but it's not going to be anything like Thumper. Uncorked? Yeah, like with Thumper where it's right out there and... Yeah, but with this... Now, you said you wanted to launch rings and stuff out of this. Yeah. So, you, like, interchangeable tops or something? Yeah, or? We'd, we'd have, it'd be modular construction. There'll be a table that mounts on the top. We'll come up, and there'll be a top deck to it, and it's going to have to be, like, this high. But you want these... You know my, my rails over there? Yeah. I got two sets. We could make two different tops. And, yeah. and we can get some nice, pretty copper stuff going. Um, but the idea is by putting it all on top, it keeps your discharge path very short. And that's mm -hmm. a thing because one ohm is huge in yeah. this world. So you want the shortest possible things you can. Yes. And, but it, it'll all be modular. The bottom will be the power supply, and the top will be the discharge. And then we'll have a remote trigger thing. You know, when we get string there. in the rafters. For now, it's going to be a string just to get started. Awesome. Um, now, I'm telling you both of this on camera. You are not allowed to launch rings with these capacitors indoors. At okay. least until we know what they'll do because we don't No, want we know what they'll do. <laughs> we did it at um, Shippers and we punched four inch holes through the roof. And we're not going to do that again. Was the roof Because it's expensive. The no, roof? the roof was steel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, right, and man, somewhere there's like rings in low Earth orbit, because they're gone. <laughs> is that they're why not going to do that Is that why that satellite came down last it's night? It's entirely possible. Um, I do want to do some distance ring launching with these, with these caps, but I don't want to do it indoors. I want to take them out to a football field, and we're going to make an electric mortar and just launch rings and see how far we can get them. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to be yeah. Awesome. All right, so you gentlemen have fun. I have to go and be that guy. That guy. <laughs> You go be that guy. I'm the geek you wish your geek could smell like. It's, it's All right, small update here for you guys. Uh, Paul Kidwell's taken off to get some hardware we need in order to create the positive side. What'll happen is these rings here, these silver rings, are the ground side. And we're going we're gonna to strap these two together, and we have some bulldogs here. So the ground is going to come up this side of the box. Meanwhile, the power is going to come up high across and up this side of the box. This will have some sort of a wing nut solution, and this one will have a pipe union. And that's because we're gonna take, well, I don't even know where it went now, we're gonna take another deck material that screws right down to this, and on that will be the actual contactor and the ring launcher or the quarter shrinker or the magnetic former, whatever it is that's going to be done with it, it'll be interchangeable. Paul, so what do we got? Well, we've gathered our charging components together. We are going to start with a uh, 15 kilovolt NST to charge our circuit. It now that's really weedly for what these are oh, yeah, that's for, cool. but this is low power, very low safe, power. conservative safe testing. Yes. And we have a aquarium off over there that's got a beautiful bridge rectifier in it. So we'll feed this into that. You made that. You made that? Made that. Very nicely done. Okay, thank you. Anyhow. Um, we want to disconnect our charging circuit from our caps when we go to fire. Okay. So we have these beautiful contactors. Yeah, those are, those are a pair of nice Jennings. Yes, they're, no, they're not big enough for what we're ultimately going to be doing because they're only rated at 15 kilovolts piece. They'll be fine for testing, though. They'll be fine for this. 200 so, amps. You know, we're not going to be charging it anywhere near 200 <laughs> amps. I mean, this is a 30 millivolt or 30 yeah, milliamp yeah. NST. That's, that's awful pretty. Yes, it is. 
Anyhow, the, uh, the AC for the NST will be wired in to the AC coils, they're 120 volt coils. So when this thing is providing power, those That's will be energized. Okay. We can use a power strip to just turn all three of these things on. There's two of those. Simple, safe. Right, and now, so when you turn the charging circuit off, the contactors disconnect, and then the capacitor is completely separate from our charging circuit. So when we fire, we don't send evil, nasty surges through the ground system of the building. Now, I noticed that there's no ground safety strap on here at the moment. There will be. We got this little fitting right here. Okay. That we're going to put a strap down to the bulldogs down here, so the caps will be shorted, so they won't. Okay, so this is the storage connector here. That's the yes. storage and transport storage safety and transport. Yep. safety strap. Cool. Excellent. So, um, and we'll be we'll pick up on this tomorrow. We're going to go for dinner break, and the camera crew is going to go home. <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to tinker some more. We'll, there will be tinkering. Yeah. We'll be on yes. this well into the small the big, hours. I'm sure. We have everything covered except how we're going to close the circuit to dump the energy into whatever it is we're doing. I think we start with the stream. Here a. Uh, Franklin silver dollar, or half dollar rather, and the half dollars are all the same size. We didn't uh, measure our uh, Kennedy half before we tried shrinking it, but this is 1.2 inches in diameter, going both ways. 1.2, 1.199. All right, the half dollar that we just run through our little machine has a uh, deformity all the way around the edge, right in there. And 1.158, 1 1.150. So we lost on the order of 50 thou for a, uh, a diameter. So it's about, what, 20th of an inch. So. We have a silver, a silver half dollar we're going to try next. And silver is more conductive than the metal, the metal that the uh, Kennedy half is made from. So we'll, we should get a better result off of this. We're also going to run this up to a higher voltage as well. So uh, let's give that a try. System at zero, zero. Charging. Hold on. Whoa, that line's tight. Okay. Charging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one. That's it. Fire! Fire it all! That was a discharge. <laughs> Voltage on the uh, cap. Oh, cool! Voltage on the cap bank. I can't oh, see it. 2.1! Grab right here. 2.2! Why is the um, 0 0.2, is, 0 0.1? You pulled it hard enough that you pulled the whole thing over. Yeah. Well, we're done for the weekend here. Uh, we've met with quite a bit of success, a little bit of failure, but all in all, it worked out fairly well. Uh, the last item we ran was a Franklin half dollar. And I got the mics here. And as you may recall, we got 1.2 the first time around, and right now I got 1.12 that way, and there's 1.108 there, so we dropped this by about a tenth of an inch. So a little bit better with the silver half dollar than we did with the Now, uh, is it dished? One. Is it like cupped on that one it's, side and dished on the other? It looks, it's not flat it looks like anymore. It's, it's got a ripple. To it. Is that because it wasn't centered in the slugs or the There's, coil wasn't yeah, on it the, right? Or? The, the wire we're using we reclaimed. I'm not certain where it came from, oh, but it wasn't right. smooth. So trying to wind the coil around the, the dowels wasn't perfect. 
So it's we like the that. better you make your work coil, the more perfectly it'll shrink down. What about using like machine plastic to get it real nice and tight? Do it's it like, like a little you, insert. Yes, so you, you would want the, the diameter of your, your form to be the exact same diameter of the coin. And we need a, a pound of 14 gauge magnet wire. I'm thinking we might want to try going a little thinner. I mean, thinner. the wire just broke in one spot. And the way I've seen it done before, the wire just turns into little bits. Okay. So the wire may be a little thick. That makes our coil a little thicker going this way. You want the coil sure. as tight into the coin as possible. So same diameter and minimum width. Now there's an idea about doing a double layer of... Something we can experiment with. Sure. So, Something to think about. Yes. All right, so that wraps us up for this weekend here with Paul and Dan who came out and accomplished all kinds of fun stuff. We want to remind you guys to rate, comment, subscribe, and go to thegeekgroup.org where you can get involved and come down here and be a part of the project. So we've got a massive website and it's open to anybody out there with a sincere and passionate desire to learn. And until next time, I'm Paul Kidwell. I'm Dan Eakin. And I'm Chris Bowden. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.